Hello Santa Claus fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. In this uh, final episode before the Christmas break, uh, I want to talk about a Mac acquisition and a T2 security chip. Last episode we talked about uh, briefly about acquisitions uh, without the T2 security chip, but with the new T2 security chip it creates an entirely different dynamic. The T2 security chip is a chip, a security chip on the motherboard of uh, all Apple computers built since uh, 2018. And uh, it is such that all data gets decrypted in the T2 security chip. It used to be that data that when you logged into a computer, let's say it was BitLocker or something like that, File Vault, the key, the decryption key would get moved into the RAM and then all the data gets pulled across that key to be decoded in, in, in a general sense. But with the T2 security chip and the Apple products, it's not like that anymore. The data goes through the T2 security chip before it goes through the RAM. And it gets decrypted before it gets to the RAM. However, there are some pitfalls here. There is zero acquisition of any kind without the password for the computer. It's just that simple. If you don't have a user's password, stop wasting your time. There's nothing you're going to do. You're done. So that's, uh, that's point number one. Very important point. Another is that you only get a limited amount of attempts to uh, guess the passcode, if you will. It's not like a Windows computer where you can just keep trying and trying and trying. And as long as there's no uh, uh, attempt limits, well, you can just keep trying. With the Apple... T2 security chip, you get a limited amount of attempts at the GUI, at the login screen. Uh, after you hit a certain amount of incorrect ones, now the only way you can do it is at the command line. Then after that, the only way you can do it is through recovery mode. And then after that, the only way you can do it is uh, through the iCloud account. For a sum total, according to Apple literature, of 180 attempts. After 180 failed attempts, the uh, decryption key in the T2 security chip eats to itself. No data ever again, period. Another downside with the T2 security chip, if you want to look at it that way from a forensic perspective, is that the unallocated space is also encrypted. The data is encrypted at rest. So that brings with it an entirely different uh, uh, approach that we need to consider. And we're going to talk more about these different acquisition techniques um, as days go on. But we're taking a break for Christmas. We'll be back uh, probably uh, second week of the new year. I hope you all have uh, a great holidays uh, if you celebrate such things. If you don't, well, you know what? Take a well-deserved break anyway. In the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.